Hey, 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 everybody. So as you can see from the title below, this is my favorites video. So to start it off, I will be showing you guys one of my favorite facial lotions. I always say to people that it is important to moisturize your face, but if you moisturize it with the wrong lotions, it's doing your face wrong. It's not making it any better. You should never put body lotion on your face. So my lotion that I use, some of the peel came off, but whatever. It's the Aveeno, Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. So it looks like this, and I just pump a little bit into my hand rub it on my face after my shower and I go on with my day or I go to sleep at night. The next item is my number one favorite mascara. Oh my gosh, I love this mascara. Ah! It is just my favorite. Oh my gosh. So it's the Mega Lights by Wet n Wild. So this is what it looks like. Pro YouTuber. Mm-hmm. And when you open it up, it has the best brush ever. Oh my gosh. So this is what the brush looks like. The actual pieces are so small. So, and they're so close together, they actually pull on your eyelashes. And they make them look a lot longer. And hence the name Mega Lens. This product is the Biore No Strips. I don't have the actual box because I threw it out, but I still have the wrapper from the individual nose strips that come in the box. But if you guys want to know what the box looks like, I'll leave all the links to all these products down below so that you guys can buy it. So the Biore nose strip. The Biore nose strip. It's amazing. So it's about the size of this wrapper. You take it out, you twist it up like this a couple of times, you wet your nose, and then you put it onto your nose. And then once it's on there for about 10 to 5 minutes, I think it says that on the wrapper. Oh, 10 to 15, sorry. So once you have it on for that long, you rip it off. It kind of hurts, but it's okay because it's pulling all the dirt out of your pores. It's amazing. I'll take it off and I'll look at it and I see like, this is gross, but I see like little black strings and you'll know what I'm talking about if you use it or if you're going to use it after this video. So you'll see like cute, cute, <laughs> you'll see little strings that look like they're black because that's dirt. It ripped the dirt out of your pores. Like it's disgusting, but at least it's out of your face. This next product is also for your face. So it's the Clean and Clear Invisible Blemish Treatment. So it looks like this. Again, pro YouTuber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how you use it is if you see a pimple coming in or ladies, I know you understand me when I say this, you can feel the pimple even though it's not there. You'll have clear skin, but you can feel something there. It's hard and... You know what I mean. So if you feel that feeling or there's an actual pimple there that you want to be invisible or go away, um, you take a little bit of this stuff, you just squeeze it out onto your finger, dab it on the pimple, just rub it in a little bit, not too long because it dries really fast, and then go on with your day. It looks like nothing's on your face. The only way people will know that there's something on your face or something on top of your pimple is if you scratch it or touch it a lot because it turns white and it looks like your skin is peeling if you play around with it so it's kind of like hairspray you know it slicks your hair back but then if you scratch your hair or touch it a lot it turns white it's just like that so just don't touch your pimple i mean you shouldn't be touching your pimple in the first place so use this stuff it goes on clear don't touch it and it's amazing. Sometimes I put this on after my shower at night, and then in the morning time, my pimple is gone. It's like a magic trick, like, okay. And now the next product is my number one favorite perfume. It is the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I'm not really a big fan of Taylor Swift. I don't really care for her music. But my mom got me this set for my birthday a couple of years ago. It came with um, lotion and shower gel and this perfume. 
So it's literally like it's finished. It's pretty much finished. Just like a little bit at the bottom, but mm. it smells delicious. So that's what the bottle looks like. And it has cute three little gems at the top. So there's a star, there's a bird, and then there's a bird cage. So that's really cool. And then it's gold and purple. You take the lid off and it looks like just a regular perfume spray bottle. But it <sighs> smells so good. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, there is a little bit. Yay. Okay, I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> So, yeah, you guys should really buy that stuff if you can find it still. I've seen it in the stores a couple of times, but again, my mom bought me that a long time ago. So if I see it again, I really want to buy some more because it's almost done. But it's amazing. And last but not least, it's my favorite, favorite, absolute favorite shampoo and conditioner. So this is it. The bottle is a little deformed. <laughs> Because I squeeze it, but it's okay. So this one is a shampoo. My conditioner is just right over there in my room. So this is called Mane and Tail. It's usually used by African American women and mixed girls like me. But I believe white people can use it as well. And it doesn't matter what your nationality is. It really doesn't matter. This stuff is amazing. It's called Mane and Tail because you think about a horse. Yep. It can be used on animals. I've seen it used on horses before when I was at a horse ranch and I was like, hey, I use that shampoo. Let me wash my hair while I'm here. I didn't actually do that, but it was just a joke. And so it's amazing. There's literally directions for humans and directions for animal use. Like you can use it on both. And that proves that Yes, one, it's satisfaction guaranteed, but it's also not tested on animals, which is amazing because I don't believe that animals should be treated wrong or even killed in the process of making our products. I mean, I can't stop, like, I can't stop it, but I can at least try to buy products that don't have animal cruelty. Um, so yeah, this is amazing stuff. It smells... It smells good. It smells like normal shampoo. But I know whenever I wash my hair, I can't just wash my hair and leave it, so I have to put things in it afterwards. But before I put those products in it, my hair smells just like it. So it smells really good if you want to actually just keep your hair like that. But again, I put things into my hair, so then those my hair starts to smell like those things, if that makes any sense. Alright, so the next three products are all makeup products. All these makeup products work amazingly on my skin and on other people that I've watched on YouTube and even my friends. I've heard so many people saying, oh, I switched my foundation and it made me break out and that sucks, girl. But that's never happened to me from using these makeup products. So the first one that I'm going to show you is my foundation, which is the Fit Me by Maybelline. So this is what it looks like. When I bought this one, I forgot to check the finishing. And turns out this one was hydrate and smooth, which is okay because it hydrates and smooths my face, if that makes any sense. But my face doesn't need any hydrating because it already creates a lot of natural oils so I like to use the matte finish one which I which is the one I usually buy but I forgot to check this time but it's okay I'm still using it I just have a dewy finish it's okay so the one that I'm using right now is the color sun beige 310 you can just check the top of the bottle and it'll say it right there so this is my color the next makeup product is my concealer. It is the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD Concealer. HD, high definition. So, this is mine. I absolutely love this concealer. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You just twist the top off, and it has the cutest little brush. I don't know why I find it cute, but okay. And then you squeeze it. I'm not going to squeeze it because I'm not using it right now. You just squeeze the bottle because it's 
a plastic bottle and then it comes up through the top through the little brush part and then you just use it on your face when I use this I don't use it on my whole face usually unless I'm doing a full face makeup but when I'm going to school I don't do a full face makeup but if I am then I go underneath my eyes my nose um like the middle of my forehead my chin and my tear not tear drop um what's this called again um cupid's bow so yeah this is like the best concealer ever it's it's thick but it's not too thick but it's also a full coverage like you'll have a pimple and you put it on top of the pimple and the pimple's gone like some concealers you put it on top of the pimple and i can still see it like what was the point of putting it on top of the pimple you know what i mean <sighs> so the last product but not least is my eyebrow kit i use the brow fix brow kit from milani it is amazing i love this stuff if you want fleeky eyebrows like me you should buy this it's really cheap oh it's backwards <laughs> it's really cheap and i use it every day ever since i bought it i bought it um i would say in the summertime so i actually still have a lot of it so when you open it up you just open it up like this and then these three brushes that come with it come up and then there's a mirror and then you have your colors so there's brown brown one brown two and then the top is a highlighter which is really good um so the brushes that come with it i don't really use this one but this one you know those typical eyeshadow ones yeah you're supposed to use this with the highlighter but i just use another brush for the highlighter then you can put it back in and then it also comes with little tweezers these are my absolute favorite tweezers my other tweezers that i have i don't even use those anymore i use these ones these are are amazing like all in the morning i'll be doing my eyebrows like oh i see a hair take it off <laughs> and so let's put these back then it comes with this little tiny brush it's an angled brush obviously so um usually people complain about the brushes that come with their products and then they use other brushes yes the other brush i do that but this brush i absolutely love this <clears throat> i'm losing my voice i'm sorry guys so what I do is I dip it in the dark brown, which is brown number two, then in the one, and then I use it. And that's it. My eyebrows are fleeky. <laughs> and then, again, I take another brush, dip it in the um, highlighter, I do under my brows, and sometimes I add it to my cheekbones. Alright, so that's my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like this. And thumbs up for my voice because it sounds really weird because I'm starting to lose my voice. So again, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Please just spread the love and comment below what you guys want to see next because I don't know what any other videos to do for you guys. If you guys want to see a makeup tutorial, for this look or an everyday makeup look or get ready with me or a day in the life which I actually filmed I filmed a day in the life of a high school teenager and I don't know it was okay I feel like I want to do it on a day that I'm actually doing something other than just oh I'm in class look at me in class Ooh, like <laughs> no you guys don't want to see that so i'm gonna do it in a day that i'm actually doing something and plus i have co-op so i can't really be filming out my co-op placement so maybe the next in school day i will do a day in the life that's actually a good idea so subscribe and i will see you guys next time on celeste's corner